I'm the Odd Body. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I made my longest Furby to date. It is 13 feet long or 4 meters. I was inspired to make this because of two of the comments that were left on some of my other videos. One by Casey who suggested making a faceplate out of felt so that it's a little bit softer, a little more huggable. And the other by Dot, who just wanted to see a really long Furby. So I thought, why not do both? And in fact, I reached out to another artist and I'm happy to announce that this build was a collaboration with none other than Desert Felts. You probably know her from TikTok, Instagram, or Etsy. She's a very talented artist that makes um, felted creation and sells them on her shop. I will absolutely link all of those details down below. Go find her, go follow her, and go support her because she's really amazing. Without further ado, let's start this video out with an unboxing because her work was a surprise to me as well. And let's go ahead and roll that tape. First off, impeccable presentation. I mean, stickers, business card, even a sweet little note at the very bottom. Mary is a true professional. I should be taking notes, truly. Also, for you headphone users, you've been warned. Oh, oh my god, he's so cute. I freaking love that expression. <laughs> he's so good, I love that. Luckily for me, she chose a neutral color palette, and I have just the fur to match. I started by cutting out the pattern pieces for the head. The pattern is by Boots with the Furb, and the link will be down in the description. Then I give each piece a nice brushing to make sure that there's not loose fur flying everywhere all the time while I work. Here you can see where the two side front pieces will connect down the middle, followed by the stomach on three corners. Then the two side back pieces to the center back. Next I'll show you how I make my ears. This is a modified version of a tutorial done by Kinpatsu Cosplay. Hers is very much more detailed, so I'll make sure to link her video also down in the description. had a handful of people ask me how I attach my ears to the Furbies. There is no magic trick here, it is honestly just hand sewing. The hot glue does make the fabric a little bit difficult to work through, but with patience and a thimble, it can be achieved. the face with tiny stitches in matching thread. 
Although in hindsight, I'm sure hot glue would have worked just fine. To attach the back half of the Furby head to the front, start by folding the ears inward so they don't get caught in the stitches, and then carefully stitch around the outer edge. You can see that I had to take several passes around the outside to actually capture all of the edges. It would have been maybe simpler to do it by hand, but I am stubborn, so I didn't. Once the head was in one piece, I could measure the total circumference of the outside to figure out how wide of a strip of fur I needed to cut to make the body. The strips needed to be 13 and a half inches wide, meaning I could make three and a third total strips for the body. I wanted to use up as much of this fur as I could for the maximum length. I made the first tube off camera. If you want to see exactly how I did that, I have a more detailed video called How to Make a Long Furby, where you can see it. More importantly though, I wanted to show how to attach the head to the first body segment. It's important that the fur is facing the correct direction, so that when you flip it right side out, everything looks very smooth and is going in the same direction. stuff with polyfill and any sane person could just stop here but if you're watching this video you're probably just as crazy as I am so let's keep going please enjoy this footage of me sewing an excessive number of body tubes As it turns out, making a Furby this long is not as easy as I anticipated. Especially to get the fur going the right way, I had to slide the empty tube over the existing body and then stitch it in place. With some finagling, I did succeed, but do keep this in mind if you want to attempt this yourself. Once everything was ready, I carefully fed it through the machine with a straight stitch, and the next segment of the body was attached. Because of the excessive length I hoped to achieve, I decided filling up the Furby with polyfill would be easiest done while I was lengthening. So I would attach a segment, fill it up, attach another segment, <laughs> fill that up, etc, etc. The longer this Furby got, though, the more tedious this process became. I think the full 13 feet took probably about 4 or 5 pounds of polyfill. And the Furby you see on screen is not even the full length. I still needed to add another 3 foot section. But once that was done, it was finally time to add the, uh, rump. So, I drew out a 13 inch circumference circle, trace that onto a piece of fur, 
and stitched that on to the rear end. And now my ultra long furby is complete. As you can see, 13 feet is an absurd length for a furby and it brings me so much joy. It is, however, a little difficult to keep in frame, a little bit difficult to photograph, but you know, it was so worth it. I loved every minute of this project and honestly, I would do it again. So if you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.